He's a beetle. Oh, we've got two very different auditions today, but I get to wear the same outfit, so that's nice. You make me feel so excited about the idea of being in a car that I love soon. Ah! I mean, it's been a, I don't know that I ever have, you know? That's gonna be a huge adult step for me. Ugh, I totally got makeup on this shirt and forgot. It's noticeable. I'm just gonna pretend like it just happened. Oh my God, if anybody says anything. Why would they though? That'd be a dick move. Hey, you got fucking shit on your shirt. Thanks, asshole. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> well, that went great. They uh, knew who I was before I got there, so they tried to like cut me in front of this girl, and I was like, oh, thank you, but she was here first. Um, anyway, and then I got into the room and they were like, we love your reel. We love it. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then I read for it and he was like, well, that was great. It was the perfect balance of all these things. What's your availability? So I feel like I booked it unless my availability gets in the way. I'm going to Texas in two weeks. So if that's when they're trying to shoot it. But otherwise, I think it's mine. Yay. Okay, on to the next one. All right, so that one was for a podcast and they just wanted to talk to me, you know? I had to read some sides, but uh, they just wanted to get a feel for who I am. And I was like, what is the angle of your podcast? He's like, well, we're gonna talk about everything and anything. I was like, okay, but what's like, what's the angle? And he was like, honesty? And I was like, dope, that's what I'm all about. I am an open book in case you haven't noticed. So I gave a very abridged three minute version of the history of my fucking life or rather like the highlights of it. And uh, well, that's it. Gonna go buy some screws. Oh, I was gonna go do a whole bunch of random shit right now. Run around, check out some stores, but my car just uh, almost didn't start. I mean, it didn't start like three times and then finally it started. So I'm a little bit hesitant to drive around and shit. Uh, Cause I don't want it to fucking die and then be stranded. I'm not letting this car stop me. I am, however, letting it somewhat dictate my actions. I'm parking on the sidewalk, or up on the street instead of in the parking lot, just in case it doesn't start. That way I can have a toad if I have to. I found so much more stuff. How am I supposed to know if these look good from behind? It's very hard to tell. Well, fuck, I got some really good stuff. You know what that means? I gotta sell some old stuff. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna make at least double back on some of the stuff I bought. So like 60% of it's for me and like 40% of it's for sale. Cause they had like a helmet lang coat for 60 bucks easily flip that for 150 like minimum so some good shit just literally creating more work for myself but that equals more profit and uh it's becoming an expensive city to live in it looks like i've been drinking wine uh <laughs> Well, it's not true. I've been eating blueberry pie. My mom made it from scratch. It's an insane recipe. Um, 
I didn't know it would do that. Oops, that's all that's left. I just found a really nice mini on Craigslist with like 32,000 miles. In great condition with all the service records but you know I'm still skeptical I just don't want to buy something and then have a break but the dealer price is a little bit more painful uh, this is so not fun driving in the car once I buy it will be fun but this process is so not fun well my basil plant is really thriving Time to go work. Going good. done I got the most primo parking spot look that's the bar I was just in and I'm right here and that's the bar and I'm here all right I'm gonna go by Dylan's place he's got some friends over and one of them is the person who not introduced us but uh, it's a funny story so I'm gonna go hang out for a little bit you're not playing Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was that was real good. And I'm home safe. So the story of how Dylan and I met. I was cast in my first ever feature film, and Dylan made the soundtrack for that film. And he was outside of the house that we were shooting at, and he was smoking a cigarette, and he had this really suspicious smile. Like, he was just so kind. And nobody else was, and I was like, what the fuck is this guy's deal? But I guess, uh, I guess it was magnetic. And, uh, we started dating that day. <laughs> he took me on our first date. The second day, because we were shooting at his house, and we all went on dinner break, and he took me to the sushi restaurant downstairs, and pff, the rest is history, man. That was 2009, 2008, oh, whew, 2008. Anyway, I might go to bed. It's pretty late. So, uh, catch you on the flip side. You make me feel so good.